Hello, today is November 26, 2019, and welcome to HGV News. I'm Lila Castro. And I'm Vivian Garcia, and here's what's going on at HHS. Hover High School will be offering free ISTEP tutoring beginning this week. Students should sign up in the Media Center. Math ISTEP tutoring is on every Tuesday from 2.45 to 4 p.m. English ISTEP tutoring is on every Thursday from 2.45 to 4 p.m. as well. This is different from our Monday and Wednesday tutoring as it focuses specifically on ISTEP skills. Please note that that we do not have bus transportation for I-STEP tutoring. I-STEP tutoring will run on this schedule through November 26th. Key Club members applying to the state convention must have their applications and teacher recommendations turned in by Friday, November 22nd. If you are planning to attend after school tutoring this afternoon and you require bus transportation, you must sign up in the media center before 1 p.m. today. You must have a signed permission slip on file. Writers Club will meet tomorrow after school until 3.30 in the Media Center. French Club members wanting to spend the evening in Chicago need to pick up permission slips and get them turned in as soon as possible. Keith Club will begin the annual mitten tree and toy drive next Wednesday. Please put all items by the tree outside of the Media Center beginning next Wednesday, November 27th. The Student Credit Union wants you to enter the drawing for a Kindle 8 with a qualifying deposit. This promotion runs through December. The winner will be announced before winter break. It only takes $1 to open up a new savings account. If you are a sophomore or junior and are interested in exploring classes at the Porter County Career Center, please attend the PCC Preview Day on December 3rd. Sign-up sheets and permission slips are available in the guidance office. Permission slips are due by November 22nd. Now over, for, now over to Jonathan and Cameron for our sports update. Congrats to our October Breaky Athletes of the Month, Grace Nestich for girls soccer, Hannah Mathis for volleyball, DJ Lipke for football, Troy Brown for, and Troy Brown for boys soccer. Way to go, Brickies. On Tuesday night, Hover hosted the Griffin Lady Panthers in a non-conference action. Griffith came in boasting a 2-0 record and looking to hand our Lady Bricks a loss for the second year in a row. This one was an instant classic. Griffith was unable to get a good shot off before the final buzzer sounded, and the Lady Bricks won a thriller, 50-47. Freshman Asia Donald led three Lady Brickies in double figures with 14 points, followed closely by senior Cora Nice and Nestich with 13, with 13 apiece. River Forest was next on the schedule for the Lady Brickies. Early on the ingots, matched Hober point for point, and with a little over a minute to play in the first quarter, Hober held a slim 9-8 lead. The lead ballooned to 37-11 to 11 and a half at the half, and the Lady Brickies cruised over the final 16 minutes to win easily. 56 to 35. Eight different players scored for Hobart in the contest with Donald 12 and Nessage for 10. Notching double figures follow, followed by junior Lexi Williams with nine points and sophomore Melanie Leonard adding eight. The Lady Brickies are four to one and off to their best start since 2013-2014 team began the season five to zero. The girls are thankful for two more games this week. A Tuesday home game against Lacrosse and another Saturday afternoon matchup at Calumet. If you're looking for something to do for the family to do around the holiday weekend, I highly recommend checking out the Lady Brickies. They are fantastic. Back to you, Leela. Our very own Jasmine Alvarez went out this week and asked our students what they're thankful for. Here's what they had to say. Hello, HHS. I'm Jasmine Alvarez, and since the holidays are coming up, we're going to be asking what people are thankful for, or what's their favorite Thanksgiving dish? My name is Isaiah, and my favorite Thanksgiving dish is macaroni and cheese. What are you thankful for? Spending time with my family and being able to watch the football games. My name is Haley, my favorite Thanksgiving dish is probably the pie. What are you thankful for? Um, being able to spend time with my family, specifically my dad and my nana. My name is Avery Cash, and I am thankful for the people in my life. What is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Personally, I like the mashed potatoes. My name is Alex Bonner, and I'm thankful for sleep. What is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Green bean casserole. My name is Mariana Lopez, and I'm thankful for opportunities that I have that other people may not have. What is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Um, it would probably be ham. My name is Shake Fisher, and what I'm grateful for is to have a great family. To have a great family, and basically, you know, we get to have families together. We get to hang out with them, and we get to love them forever. And you know, basically, I'm, that's what I'm really grateful. For. What is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Mmm, turkeys, pumpkin pies. And ham. Hello, my name is Andrew McKnight, and I am thankful for my family and the 
beauty of going home after a long day's week. Gotta say, I love that turkey. We sure do like that turkey. Seniors, this is what you have been waiting for. We've been creating career newsletters that have temporary and part-time jobs for high school students. However, there are many companies in Northwest Indiana that have full-time jobs for students once they've graduated high school. We know that planning your future is important to you, so together with the guidance department, we've composed a list of career type jobs that we think you might be interested in. Many of them only require a high school diploma and pay way over minimum wage. The goal is to bring awareness of the many career opportunities available in our state. Now over to Madison for what's happening at HHS. Hello everyone, I'm your host Madison Santillan and here's what's currently happening on the internet. Frozen 2 released November 22nd and has already set a record for the animated movie box office. It has earned an impressive $350.2 million globally just on the opening weekend alone. Baby Yoda is currently stealing the hearts from all people all over the internet. Many have started taking screen caps of the little Yoda from the new Disney Plus series, The Mandalorian, to make memes out of it, and they are quickly gaining popularity. Just look at those eyes. A stray dog now named Serenity was found protecting five kittens on the side of the road. She was found by a pet and wildlife rescue in Chatham, Ontario. The kittens are now in a safe foster home, and over 30 people across the U.S. have applied to adopt Serenity online. This artist, Joanna Basford, has recently broken the record for the largest solo drawing, measuring at a staggering 5,386 square feet. And finally, we have a group of scientists in Germany that have developed a new way to test the personalities of mice. They discovered some like to go and explore their environment, while others prefer to stay in the comfort of their own nest. Just like introverts and extroverts, some mice like being alone, and others like staying by their cage mates. To do this, the scientists dyed the fur of each mouse a different color, and then they analyzed videos of how they interacted with each other and the world. By watching the videos, they discovered 60 different behaviors in the mice. That's your internet news for this week. Back to you, Leela and Vivian. An important safety tip. Please use the sidewalks on the north side of 10th Street. This means you should safely cross 10th to get to the sidewalk. Community members are concerned and want to keep you safe, as do we. When you must be on the non-sidewalk side of 10th, be sure to use the bike lane and watch for traffic. That's it for this edition of HTV News. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Harvard High School Radio and TV channel. Remember, Remember only, only the best, best for HHS, HHS and have a fantastic, fantastic day, everyone. everyone.